hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to teach you how to define functions with parameters in JavaScript this concept can be applied in other programming languages uh, Python C++ uh, PHP and Python and other, other, other languages okay so let's get started so here I have my index.html and here I have linked my CSS and my JavaScript. In case you do not know how to link HTML, how to link CSS and HTML to JavaScript, please check on the link below. I'm, I mean, I have a video on how to do that. Okay, so let's get go back to our JavaScript. So here, I already have this running in the browser. How to define functions in JavaScript? So let's go. So the first thing we're going to do in JavaScript to define a function, you have to start with the function keyword. So you type function. So the first thing we're going to look sorry is functions without parameters all right and then here we're going to look at function with parameters and then functions with return keyword uh, all right so here we're going to start with uh, function and after function you follow it by with uh, the const um, function name so let's say i want it to be customer full name all right and then so this is basically how to define function in javascript and this function does not have a parameter because there's no value passed here that's why it's it's without a parameter and this function does not do anything so to call the function um, let's say uh, calling calling uh, customer full name function right so to call it you just output the name follow with this so when we go to our browser and refresh nothing happens because this function um, does not do anything and secondly remember secondly if you do not call a function it, it, it doesn't do anything so functions are called for them to perform a particular function just like the name implies all right so here we want to output the customer name so we will going to start with uh, a variable to say um, customer name so we're going to say this for customer name is uh, cd all right so with this we're going to alert um alert the customer name sorry we're going to alert the customer name like this so if we this function what if what this function does is to alert this to the browser all right but if we do not call the function let me comment this out and then we go to our browser and refresh you can see nothing happens so but when i come back and uncomment this and save go back to my browser and then refresh so you're gonna see my name or little cassidy okay and here we can change um this name we can add something like though and we'll go back to our browser and refresh this you can see origi though cassidy okay so this is basically how to create a function without a parameter and this is how to call the function okay so the next thing we're going to look at is this we're going to look at how to call a function with parameter so we start with the function keyword followed by uh, with this one we're going to say customer name all right we're going to call it customer name and we're gonna pass in a uh, full name as a parameter so full name here is the parameter okay here th this full name is the parameter okay so here we can simply say a lot uh, full name all right we save this and if you go to our browser let's uncomment this one so that we, we will know what this does we go back to the browser and we refresh you can see nothing happened because we have not called a function so here we're going to invoke the function we're going to call it customer name um this one is name and then i want to pass in the same name here so i will pass in this name let me just copy it down copy right here and i'll paste it here i'll save it and then i go to my browser and refresh so you see the name comes up so you can see basically this value we passed here is uh, an argument okay this is an argument so that's the difference the difference between parameters and argument is our uh, parameters are used during function definition this is what we have here the full name here is a parameter 
or uh, this name which is the real value here is an argument okay I, I hope you understand that okay so the next thing we're going to do uh, look at of course inside of this function you can do pretty a lot of things here but I don't want to really do much I just want to show you the basics and the concept of how this thing works you can basically do anything you can appeal to the browser okay um, okay so here I'm going to show you how we can use functions as return type and how we can assign um, values to return types all right so here we're gonna have um, a function um, uh, function we're gonna call this function to be um, what, what can we call it okay we're gonna say check uh, we're gonna say check uh, check uh, okay let's just call it check all right and then we're gonna pass a variable a variable here that says what well, can we okay let's pass the variable of h into this function all right then in uh, this function uh, it's just gonna check all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use if statement to say if h if okay no we are simply going to return this h okay we're simply going to return this a okay so here um, we're gonna write a function that that outputs h okay it's gonna give us the h uh, so here what we are simply going to do is we're gonna return uh, h all right this is how return type works so whatever um, is passed here we're gonna return it right here and then we're gonna write another function um, another function that's gonna say check um, uh, okay we're gonna call it eligible eligible so uh, eligible here and we're gonna pass in um, a variable also here to age we're still gonna pass age something like age all right and here we're gonna check if age is greater than or equal to 18 that means the person is an adult so if he is you're gonna alert um you're gonna simply alert you are eligible to proceed all right something like this and then else if if not otherwise we're gonna tell the user that uh, sorry sorry you earn you earned eligible oh to proceed all right so what we're simply going to do here we're going to use the return type of this all right whatever this function returns we're going to use it as a variable as, as an argument here to check for this okay so if if I go here, if I call the function eligible, let's call the function eligible and pass no val no no arguments to it, and then we go to the browser and refresh. This should give us um, not uh, defined. Okay, you can sorry you are not eligible to proceed. Now the reason is because um, the value that is passed here, the value this value where the argument here. There's nothing passed here so it is it's undefined so undefined is not equal to or greater than 18 so it's probably gonna return that value okay so we want to use the return type whatever this function returns you know to add put here so what we're simply going to do um, we're gonna first of all call this function let's comment this out first let's comment this out um, we're gonna call this function so this this function is simply going to return whatever that is being passed to it whatever argument that's being passed to it so we can just say uh, let h equal to um, check then I'm gonna pass my h to be 5 all right so here I'm gonna say a lot I want to a lot h so go back to my browser and refresh you can see five let me comment the first one out so that you can see what we're doing i'm gonna comment this out so what this function a function with a return key 
uh, keyword does is simply return whatever it returns a value it returns a value and whenever a function reaches the return statement it stops any other thing from happening nothing happens again all right it doesn't run any other statement after the return keyword so this function here returns age and we're assigning age variable to or we, we can say my age so we are assigning my age variable to whatever the function returns so the function is going to return a value and the value is going to return we will assign it to this to the variable and use it right here okay so we can say uh here we can say uh my my age is we're going to concatenate all right my age is whatever that is um let me add a space right here to clean it up a little bit so go back here refresh you have my age is five all right my age is five so here we're going to use this to check this eligibility okay let's say okay let's leave it for five right here and then we're going to uncomment the whole of this all right and um we're going to uncomment this um here all right so um whatever this returns we're going to use it right here so we have my age is this so we impute my age my age and then we save this and let's run the um refresh our browser and see what we have so you see sorry you end eligible to proceed okay that's because the age is five is less than so let's say 45 and then we go over here and refresh our browser you see you are eligible to proceed okay so to cap everything we have done you see here we have uh, functions with variable with that with that parameter so they simply allowed whatever this is allowed they simply you know do whatever you want them to do when you call them you can call them without uh, an argument but right here functions with parameters you have to pass a parameter here and the way while calling the function you also pass you pass an argument so the difference between parameter and argument a parameter is called or is used during function definition why an argument is the real value that's being passed to the function when the function is called or invoked then we have a return type so the function here returns a value so here it returns whatever we impute right here so that means my age is equal to 45 and then we will also write a function that checks eligibility using a parameter and then we are uh, simply using whatever we have here all right into here now um one more thing that we can do we can do here um, instead of doing this we can call the function here we can call the check function we pass the function as uh, an argument and then we call let me 66 so we'll refresh go to our browser and so you see you are eligible to proceed okay so guys so this is how you know um you can define a function in javascript and with parameter and return key please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell so they get more updates when we post more videos you know thank you for watching please like this video and share to others